S&D helps us um, create variety, uh, a variety offer for our customer. The number one, hands down, is, you know, regular coffee. They've given us the ability to also offer multiple varieties of flavored coffees, single origin coffees, coupled with some of the um, cappuccinos and lattes and, and various teas. Uh, we, we have a very vast offer. Stuart Spink's interest in environmental projects began much the way many of his innovations started, by understanding what consumers want. When the CEO of the Spinks Corporation first installed pay-at-the-pump technology in the early 1990s, he got a big hug from a customer who appreciated the fact that she no longer had to haul her children into the store each time she got gas. Ever since, Spinks' determination to spur similar reactions has led to numerous innovations, from fresh food to cash acceptors in the pumps, what he calls making life easier for customers. From the very beginning, I saw an opportunity in this wonderful part of the country, the upstate of South Carolina, to just make people's lives a little easier, and that's been our tagline ever since. And, and of course, self-service was brand new in those early days. And, we had to train people to, to, uh, to do that, but it was accepted so quickly. As you look around and walk around our stores, you'll see many of the attributes are strictly all about making life a little easier. But it's environmental stewardship that's taken hold in a range of projects, from energy efficient lighting and car wash water recycling, to motion sensitive lighting, skylights, E85, and most recently, being among the first retailers to test electric vehicle charging at his stores in South Carolina. The simple matter of fact is that this is a viable alternative for motor, I mean for automobiles in the future. It's the technology is, is, is growing really fast and emerging and, and we believe that the consumer is going to demand that out of us. But we haven't figured out how we collect. We just, it's all complimentary right now. You just right. plug your electric car up and that's it. We haven't put meters on it because there's so few vehicles. We just want to, to send the message to the consumer that if this is what you prefer, then we're there to take care of it for you. Of course, Spinks knows there are limits to what a retailer can do to please consumers. And he keeps a sharp, if relaxed, eye on return on investment. You know, we're going to try to get a payback, but, you know, where the payback on a lot of investments is, you know, five to seven years, this may be a payback like the recycling that may be 10 to 12 years. And, and over time, as that cost of water or that cost of energy goes up, we'll, we'll shorten that uh, payback period.